Hi, I'm Storytime Bradley from the St. Louis Public Library, and I'm going to bring you a fresh story time every Saturday at 9 a.m. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, a clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, a stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, a stomp your feet. Stop your feet. If you're ready for a storm, say, I'm not the If you're ready for a storm, I say, I'm ready for a story. How about you? You ever just sitting there, minding your own business, trying to watch a TV show or read a book? Your little brother's tickling you, or your dogs are licking your toes? Parents are saying, do this, do that. And you just want to shout, leave me alone. Well, that's the book we're going to read today. And it's by Vera Brosgill, and we get to read it with permission from Roaring Brook Press. Once there was an old woman. She lived in a small village, in a small house. With a very big family. Winter was coming, and that meant she had some very important knitting to do. But it wasn't getting done. Her grandchildren were very curious about her knitting. Were you supposed to hit the ball with a stick? Could you eat it? Could you make your brother eat it? Well, why did the ball get smaller and smaller as you chased it? Well, the old woman was at the end of her rope. So she made her bed as neatly as she could. She swept the floorboards until they more or less shone. She drank tea from her samovar. She packed up her things in a big sack. And as she left, she shouted back, Leave me alone! The old woman walked through the deep, dark forest. She made a fire so that she could see what she was doing. Then she sat down and began to knit. Well, the bear family was very curious about the light from her fire and about what she might taste like. Leave me alone, the old woman shouted. But they didn't listen because... Bears don't speak English. So she picked up her sack and left. The old woman climbed up the mountainside. It was cold, so she found a small sheltered place. Then she sat down 
and began to knit. The mountain goats were very excited to have a visitor, especially one that brought snacks. Leave me alone, the old woman shouted. But the goats were too busy fighting over the red ones, which they all agreed were the best. So she picked up her sack and left. The old woman climbed higher and higher up the mountain. She reached the top and climbed onto the moon. She found a rock that was shaped like a chair. She sat down and began to knit. The little green moonman had never seen a woman before, old or otherwise. They examined her with handheld scanners that went beep bop. Leave me ah. Alone, the old woman shouted. But the little green moonmen couldn't hear her because they didn't have any ears. So she picked up her sack and left through a wormhole. The void on the other side of the wormhole was very dark and very, very quiet. She was absolutely, completely, utterly alone. It was perfect. Soon, she had no more yarn and 30 little sweaters. And she was alone. So she put the 30 sweaters into her big sack. She swept the void until it was a nice matte black. She had a cup of tea from her samovar. Then she picked up the sack and left through another wormhole. When she came out the other side, everything was right where she'd left it. And she didn't say a word. Hey, parents and caregivers, here's this week's lit tip. Not only is it important to rhyme words, but it's also important and a lot of fun to come up with alliterative phrases. So words that have the same sounds at the beginning, like messy moose and crazy coconut. This will really help your kids understand that sounds are connected to letters and that the same letters are going to show up in different words. How many goofy alliterative phrases can you and your kids come up with? We all love a good sunny day, but well, sometimes the clouds just won't go away. And whenever that happens, I like to sing my favorite song about the sun, You Are My Sunshine. Now, I'm only going to sing it once, but I'll play it several times so you can sing along as many times as you like. Are you ready? Okay, right, here we go.
Isn't that just a beautiful song? Hey, I'm holding on to this sentence, but I gotta tell you, it's getting really heavy. I wish I had a friend that could hold on to it for me. If only I had someone that was, uh... Oh, hey! Al, how are you? Well, I'm very good. How are you doing? Good, good, good. Al, can you do me a favor? Of course, of course, anything. Look, I've got this sentence, but it's too heavy. Can you hold on to it for me? Sure, sure. Can't be that heavy. What's the sentence? Okay, you ready? Yes, yes, yes. The lazy lizard danced dandily to the magical music when the weary waiter silently spilled the mammoth meatballs on his trendy tuxedo. You got it? Do I have? Of course I've got it. Well, that's the easiest sentence I've ever heard. Perfect. I knew I could count on you. I'll be back later to get my sentence from you, okay? Sounds good. I'll hold it tight right here. Okay, bye. Do I have it? Of course I have it. That's the easiest sentence. The, uh... Well, now, how did it go again? The, uh... Lazy... No, it wasn't lazy. Hmm. I'd like to drop this sentence off with my friend Shark. Shark! Hey, what's going on? Shark, I've got a sentence and I need you to hold on to for me. Well, sure, sure. What's the sentence? It's the, uh... Hmm. Oh, here it is. Are you ready? Of course I'm ready. What is it? The little lassie danced diligently to the mammoth meatballs when the wild walrus simply sang to monster music. Yep, that's the one. Oh, easy enough. You got it? Uh, of course I've got it. That's the easiest sentence I've ever heard. Perfect. I knew I could count on you. Okay, shark. I'll be back later. Bye. Do I have it? Of course I've got it. That's the easiest sentence. Now, how did it go? Hmm. The little lassie. Did it start with little lassie? No, no. The, uh... Lily lollipop. Yep, that's the one. Lily lollipop. Sure is boring here. I'd like to pass this sentence on to my friend Beaver. Beaver? Hey, uh, what can I do for you, Shark? Beaver, I've got this sentence I need you to hold on to for me. Can you do that? Of course, of course. I love to hold on to sentences. Okay, okay, here it is. The gummy goat suddenly sneezed when the crunchy chicory fell faintly from the sizzling sky with a thrilling thud. Got it? Do I have it? Of course I have it. That's the easiest sentence I've ever heard. Perfect. I knew I could count on you, Beaver. Bye. Do I have it? Of course. It's, uh... It's, uh... Hmm. How did it go again? The lily... No, that wasn't it. The gummy goat... No, it wasn't gummy goat. Hmm. I just don't... Oh! It started with boogers. That's right. It started with boogers. Hmm. Hey, Beaver! Oh, hi, Cheryl. They told me that you had my sentence for me? Oh, this is your sentence? Yep, yep. Dropped it off with Al. Somehow it made its way to you. Anyway, can I have my sentence back? Of course, of course. I've, I've got it around here somewhere. Uh, well? Oh, here, here, here it is. Are you ready? Of course I'm ready. It's my sentence. Okay, okay. It's, uh... The boogered bumble bug brightly burped... Uh-huh. To the tantalizing tune of a hanker and hank singing softly for his frightened friend, the Dizzy Duck. Is that your sentence? Yep, that's the one. Thanks, Beaver. Bye. Glad I could be of a sentence.
Man, I had so much fun with you guys this week, but now it's time to say goodbye. But we can't do that until we do our closing song, like we always do. The more we get together with our words, but also with American Sign Language. So let's get our hands out. Here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good job. I can't wait to see you guys next Saturday at 9 a.m. Bye. Hey, I want to thank Royan Book Press and Vera Brosgo one more time for letting us read Leave Me Alone. It's a really fun book. And I want to make sure you guys are aware of our new program, A Thousand Books Before Kindergarten. Check out the website, slpl.org, or come into one of our branches and we'll tell you about it. I'm Storytime Bradley, and I'll see you guys next Saturday at 9 a.m. Bye.